hello guys and welcome back so now in this video we will add a help bar to our player for that right here we will create a ui canvas by name of player ui and then inside this canvas let me show you this inside the 2d mode okay here is the canvas let's create a empty object actually let's name this as help bar let's make this 750.553 you can resize this at according to your own game okay but i will leave this like this okay and then inside this health bar we will now add a ui image by the name of health bar frame and inside this health bar frame we will add our health bar frame so for that if you open up the browser and on the unity asset store you will find this beautiful progress bar free which is a free asset as you know this is the file size this is the owner name and you can read more about this package okay so i am using this for my health bar i will simply then click on open in unity then click on this open unity editor and if you guys are using the same package then download it and simply click on import right here we don't need the scene and the scripts after that import it okay it is being imported right there let's open up the progress ui and right here you can see there are many progress bars so right here we need the help bar frame we will use this frame okay so just drag and drop this inside the source image and you can actually click on this set native size okay as you can see now our my help bar fits the help bar frame after this uh, we will simply add another ui image inside the help bar and let's name this as help bar fill let's actually drag and drop this right there so that it shows behind this frame as you can see when we drag and drop it down it shows on on top of the frame but if we move it up there as you can see it is showing behind the frame now what we will do right here is simply drag and drop the fill right there and then click on set native size and now as you can see it looks perfect and now if we click on our fill as you can see we can create an illusion of bringing down the health to zero and making it full again but we need a component for this so that by using this script we can decrease the health bar whenever the zombie hit us so for that we will provide the component by the name of slider so you can simply add the slider to the parent object which is health bar okay right here make this non interactable set the color tint to none navigation to none and right here in the fill react you have guessed it we need to add the health bar fill after adding it as you can see it becomes messed up but if you now check it out as you can see it works leave this on the maximum value which is one and now what we will do is to simply resize this and let's match it to our help bar frame okay we will leave that there and maybe just a little bit there okay let's do it for the other side as well we will see it right here let's try and drop this okay I think it matches the other side Okay, it seems good let's now do it for the top as well let me zoom in let's do that okay and then for right here as well let's do that and now as you can see it looks perfect now if we click on our help bar again let me actually save this click on the help bar now let's bring down the value as you can see now 
it works fine okay so if your help bar is messed up as mine then you can just simply resize the fill help bar fill okay and as you can see there is a little bit difference this seem a little bit smaller and this one bigger let me actually zoom in and pull it down a little bit now let's go there and do that okay i think now it looks fine okay we will just leave it like this now so here is our help bar now functioning as you can see now the next thing which we want to add is this help bar icon so if we click on our help bar let's actually check this out in our game as you can see this help bar seems to big as you can see and we don't want the help bar to be this big because we will not see the other game graphics so first of all let's select our let me let me turn on the gizmo so that we see the fully canvas and the help bar fill and right here we can select the help bar fill and the help bar frame and let's do this okay let's see the game it still seems so big so let me resize it a little bit more and do this side as well so guys i have just paused the video for some time and i have resized the health bar a little bit more now as you can see like this it looks good as you can see so you can resize the health bar and according to your game okay for this game i like the health bar to be this much big okay so I have resized it accordingly to save our time. Now we have the help bar right here. We can take the value down and up. Okay. We have the help bar fill, help bar frame now. The next thing which we will be doing is to actually select this help bar. Okay, this whole object. Click on this and then hold down the alt button. And we want this help bar to be shown right here so we will select this bottom left okay right there we want it to be shown in our game okay and actually we can move it a little bit right here and a little bit well down below okay right there so let me see this in the full screen okay now right here we will add the icon of the health bar so what we can do for the icon is that go inside UI image and let's add a health bar icon and in the sprites we have this icon so just simply drag and drop that in there and what we can do with this now is on the scene let's move it right there and we need to resize the icon as well let me turn off the gizmos actually let's move it right here and first of all let's resize it according with the help bar frame okay like that okay it looks good now let's click on the help bar we need to add that there so just simply Drag and drop that right there. Let's see the game. Okay, it looks good, but we need to move it a little bit on the left as well. So, like that. Okay, now it looks good if you see it in the full screen. But let's move it more to that side. Now it looks so now we can actually turn on the gizmos again and select our whole health bar and move it to this side and a little bit down 
okay like that let's save it and let me give this now let's let's go to right there okay as you can see it works perfectly now as you can see so with our help are added now in the next video we will write a script for our help bar and actually we will make this help bar universal so that we can use this help bar on the player and on the enemies as well okay for the enemies in the scene for example if it is this enemy then we will show the help bar on top of the enemy head okay and for the player we will show the help bar right there uh, at the bottom left now with the help bar created catch you guys in the next video